A word is dead when it is said, some say, some say, I say, I say. A word just begins to live that day. Now I use that small, brief little poem by the great poet Emily Dickinson to create an entire conversation with a group of high school students about the importance of integrity in your word. And I was amazed. I was amazed that they felt fully engaged for that entire time around that little short poem by Emily Dickinson. Now, that brings me and illustrates, I think, the rather contrarian view that I have of poetry because, you see, I believe that poetry really ought to carry the freight, as it were, that poetry is a very practical art. And that also brings me to the very purpose of this video today and the reason that I'm talking to each of you about a very special course that I would like to invite you on, indeed a journey that I would like to invite each of you to join me on. I call this journey Poetry, Passion, and the Pursuit of Pleasure. And I use that sort of odd name because I want you to get a sense that we are very serious about dealing with poetry in an unusual way, in a way that's very pleasurable, but also in a way that I think is very, very practical. Now, like most people, like most people, I believe that poetry is incredibly inspirational, and we will look at the aspects of poetry that are insp inspirational. But I also believe, I also believe that poems, as I said before, have got to carry the freight. And one of the things that I believe about poetry that makes it very unique is that poems can surprise us, they can wake us up, Surpri uh, poems can often sort of get in our face in a, in, a, in a wonderful way of confronting us. They can also help us heal, they can help us grieve, and they can do all sorts of different kinds of things, helping us change our perspective often on a dime. Now, a friend of mine put it this way. He said, you know, several years ago, Dale, when my mother died, I had this incredible rush of big, huge emotions. And he said to me that it was poetry that saved my life because what he needed, what he said to me, was that he needed the big language, the big, bold language of poetry to meet the big emotions that were created by his mother's passing. And I think that we find that that's exactly what poems can do, not just for grief, but also for those joyful moments, those incredibly powerful moments that we all face in our lives. Now, the great interior scientist that many of you will know, Sigmund Freud, once said, everywhere I go, a poet has beat me there. And I think that that is absolutely true, and I think that we will find that. In fact, one of the ways that I like to think about it is, and you'll maybe know what this is. This is a molly bolt, and you know how it works when you use a molly bolt and you put it into a wall and it goes on the other side and it clicks. And then it's powerful. It can hold up powerful weight. You can't get that molly bolt out. That is exactly how a great, wonderful poem works is that once that poem gets in your heart, gets in your psyche, you can't get it out, and you don't want to have it out. Now, the thing that we're going to do in each one of the sessions is we're going to focus on a different theme. So, for example, the first session that we'll deal with in the course is Hurt into Poetry, Good Poems from Hard Times. And we're going to see how so many poets were literally hurt in to their wonderful poetry. We're also, on each of the sessions that we do, we're going to look both at the content of the poetry in terms of the poems themselves, but we're also going to look at the context. In other words, what was going on in the poets' lives when they wrote these poems? Because often, I think you're going to be very surprised at what was happening in their lives. Now, sometimes people say, well, in a course like this, Dale, will we be writing poems? My answer to you is no, not in the course. Now, will I encourage you to write poetry? Uh, in the background to our course? Yes, of course I will. But we're not going to be dealing with the actual uh, writing of poems in the course. Now, let me close by saying this. Whether you love poetry already 
of whether you're very unfamiliar with it, whether or not you were tortured by poetry like so many of us were in high school and college, no matter what your orientation is, you will find yourself welcome and welcomed in this course. And I think that you're going to find poetry, experience poetry, in a whole different new way. So I'm going to ask each of you to join me in this course, Poetry, Passion, and the Pursuit of Pleasure. Please join me. We'll have fun.